Hi guys, the Infinity models are now finished so I'm just going to do a model showcase of them and I just have a look at them. So the bases have been done, kind of a greeny copper with some rust. So I'm going to move the camera for this, uh, hopefully it won't look too bad. So we have him, this chick and this epically posed sniper. So now we'll turn them. For you to have a look at. And we'll go back. I love this big red guy. Maybe it's just because he's red and he's in a mech suit and it kind of reminds me of Iron Man. Probably the only reason that I actually like him. But mechs are seriously cool and he is a very cool model. Can't say that I'm not looking forward to getting back to painting Space Marines after this. And just give us a second guys and we'll change them up. back guys. So yeah, these models were quite extensively detailed as you can see. And there was a lot of work involved in painting them. But definitely enjoyed it. I feel more confident now going back to painting Space Marines after it. Because it was definitely um, a learning experience for me. Which is also good. Always good. Um, Learned a lot about glazing because, you know, it's kind of hard to thin line highlights when you're using your detail brush as a base coat brush and models like this. They were a joy to paint and I should be getting into Infinity in the future, but there's a Hordes tournament coming up. So I kind of want to get my Hordes army painted and I still need to buy a few things. And we'll be back in a second. And this is the Pan Oceana now, the red ones were the Nomads. So, yeah, as I was saying, I need to get my hordes painted, so I'm going to start working on that. And I think we're doing a Mighty Empires Fantasy League in the local club, so I need an army for that. Um, thankfully, one of the lads has a lot of stuff, so I can borrow that. But um, these blue guys here, this is how I would paint my Pan Oceana when I actually get into Infinity. I hope it won't be too far away, I might just buy the models and have them here but I'm not going to paint them until I actually get my hard stuff done because for the tournament you do need it fully painted. But uh, there was a lot of airbrushing in this, airbrushing and glazes, I'm going to change the models to the last four and I'll continue talking then. So, see you in a second. Yeah, so the painting method for this was um, pre-shade with the airbrush, so black all over, then I went in with Army Painters Uniform Grey at a 45 degree angle and then I added white to the very top so I used a very dark blue from Vallejo I can't think of the name of it now and I don't want to go rustling for it because I'm in video but um, I added a lot of glaze medium to that in the cup of the airbrush instead of mixing it with water to thin it down so that was sprayed on all over the model once that was dry I used a, it's a model colour it's almost electric blue but it's a uh, or model air sorry so what I done then was I added that as a 45 degree highlight around and then I mixed a small bit of white with that and put it over the top. So that was how I painted the armour. Now the other bits like the white that you see here in the shoulder pad and the cloaks all glazed on a wet palette. So what I done was I put the colours out on a wet palette and what I done then was instead of adding water to kind of thin them out a little bit more what I done was I added glaze medium. And there was a lot of layers involved in building it up. I think there's five or six layers in these little red dots that you see on the leg. So in here, there's five or six different layers in each of them. The white was highlighted up from a grey. So I started with grey. Then I'd work up from a grey white 50-50. Then a white. And then it's an off-white that I use. And then I'd do a, a full white. The other guys, the Nomads, had mostly black weapons, so instead of highlighting them with silver, I just glazed on um, grey highlights. And that's how that was done, guys. So that finishes the model showcase for the Infinity models. Beautiful models, I'm not going to lie. It'd be nice if they were a bit bigger scale though, because if I put a Space Marine beside it, okay, this will show you the detail. So, I'll just put a Space Marine in the middle of these two. Take him out of shape. That is a Space Marine. Now look at the detail on that Space Marine, right? Let me turn him around. 
Oh, I dry brushed a wolf on pelt on his back. How do you expect someone to dry brush anything like that? All I used for this whole commission was my detail brush. It's an army painter insane detail. And that was what I use as a base, a base coat brush. I use it as a glaze brush, a wash brush and a highlighting brush. Because the models are that small and detailed. I didn't want, you know, I didn't want any of the other colours bleeding in or an old brush. Like, my normal base coating brushes are fairly beat up. Now that one's not too bad because I've been using it. I'm going to find you my other one. Look how bad that is. That's a hook on it. And when I put paint in it, they kind of splay out a bit. So I didn't want that kind of bouncing all over the model. And um, like ruining the airbrush work. Because it's hard to get that smooth transition with a paintbrush that you can get with an airbrush. So there was a lot of work involved in this. I enjoyed it, nonetheless. It was great. The bases are all green stuffed. I made them myself. And um, I think we'll leave it there for today, guys. I'm going to get back to work. I have a few commissions to get sorted out. And... Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the Facebook album so you can have a look at still pictures of these if you want to see them in a bit more detail. I just want to say thanks to everyone for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think of the paint job that I've done on these Infinity models. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.